Hi there, my name's Jane Smith. I'm a youth worker down at um, the Sanctuary on Castle Vale. And I'm here at the Tame Valley Wetlands with um, some young people from our community. They've really enjoyed looking at various forms of wildlife that they've never seen before. Um, pond dipping and interesting uh, old families that lived in the cottages. So it has been really, really interesting watching these, these girls transform and listen and do what they're doing. Knowing that we've got some young people that can continue to do what Time Valley have done so well. So what kind of wildlife is in the um, pond dipping that you So know there's of? loads of wildlife in the pond. Uh, well, whenever we do pond dipping with different groups, we always find newts, so the smooth newts in the pond. There's a resident frog who is always there and the heron tries to catch him occasionally. We've got lots of different dragonflies and damselflies and demoiselles. Um, there's pond snails and ram's horn snails and a few fish and lots of pond skaters and there's loads of your usual pond wildlife in there and we also have a heron who comes along every now and again and a kingfisher who comes to fish and tries to eat all our fish as well. I'm dipping this fishing net in to see if I can catch any creatures that are in there and to put them into this little tray and discover more about them. What have you found so, so far? Really well, I found a couple of newts, well. so some fishes, like some snails, and one of those like little, little creatures with a green belly on there. Kind of but I'm not quite sure what that's called yet. So I'm going to try and find and see if I can find another one. We found that one. This is one we definitely found, which is a dragonfly like that. And that one, the bug they what? Um. I'm Shaya and we're in the cottage and um, Chris. My name's Chris and I'm the interpretation officer for Tame Valley Wetlands. How long has the cottage been here in Team Valley? In this particular yeah. location it's been here since 1975 but it was moved from Lee Marston to here um, um, to protect it because it was it was in a very bad state it was falling down and so they decided to dismantle it and rebuild it here in 1975. So we've got evidence here of some of the bats and the birds that come here. So this feather is a green woodpecker feather and if we look at it in the daylight there's a little bit of green tinge on there. So they come in and build their nest in here and then Around the edges is bits of uh, bits of poo that show that there's been bats coming in as well. Yeah. Well, the idea was to recreate it as it would have been when it was first built. So this is as it would have been. Very, very simple, very plain. Um, so there's no plans to, as far as I know, to, to decorate it. There's been lots and lots of families that lived here over the centuries. I mean, because this is uh, was built in around about 1670, something like that, it, it, perhaps even earlier. So in the 17th century, so over the next sort of 400 odd years, there's been lots and lots of families living here. Shire and we're here at Time, Time Valley, the wetlands, where we're looking at um, wildlife creatures. And also, what I find interesting about it is that it's good to know about wildlife because it know about wildlife, and it's good to um, see the creatures turn into something different. 
Hi, my name's Shina and I'm here to talk about the Team Valley Wetlands and what I've discovered whilst looking around and different things. The first thing I noticed was this unusual caterpillar which then turns into a butterfly. But first the caterpillar was black and orange and then as it grows later on in life it will turn red and black which is really cool because it's unusual and something you're not finding in your garden. So this is the monkey puzzle tree, which is evergreen, which means it is green all the year round. This is a non-native tree, which means it doesn't grow naturally in the UK. So it was planted by somebody else. And the reason why they call it the monkey puzzle tree is because they look like monkey tails. Yeah. We are in Town Valley Wetlands. Um, we're sitting in a giant rhododendron tree. And it's not native to Team Valley. And we have to keep cutting it down. If you don't keep cutting it down, it's going to take up the whole of the forest. Oh, it is cool to drink. Yeah. It's where you need to go Yeah. Is would I do it again? I would do it again. First, it's fun. Second, it gives you something to do and more entertaining, and it just makes you feel like you're in control of the like wildlife, and that's what I like. Thanks. Hi, my name is Nicola, and I'm the Youth Engagement Officer for the Tame Valley Wetlands Landscape Partnership Scheme. And it's my job to work with young people across the area in order to try and engage them with their local natural spaces a little bit more. So I've worked with groups such as guide groups, local school groups, colleges, uh, this youth group from Castle Vale to try and get young people engaged in the local spaces where they live. And I, I think that's a really important thing to do because nature is all around us and it's part of us and we are part of it that's and if we don't encourage people to look after what they have around them and to care for it then in future generations it may be under threat so I think it's really important for us as stewards of the environment to pass on that information pass on the knowledge and the care and the love for the environment that we have to future generations.